Well, today we are where we are, which is at another terrible moment in this pandemic. And this Congress must act. We cannot leave here to go home to our families for the Christmas holidays while other families throughout this country by the millions are wondering how they're gonna pay the rent or feed their kids. We cannot do that. And I'm proud to say that uh, Senator Holly Holly from Missouri and I have worked together on a pretty simple amendment, and he'll be talking about it in a second, which says that we must include in any legislation that is passed a direct payment of $1,200 for adults and $500 for kids. We cannot, we must not leave Washington unless we do that. And next week, I am going to do everything that I can to make sure that that happens. We cannot, we will not leave Washington unless we make certain that millions of families have the economic assistance uh, that they need. So we are working on bipartisan legislation, and on, uh, Senator Hawley has done a very, very good job on this, and proud to yield the floor uh, to him. I'm, I'm delighted to join with Senator Sanders in this important legislation. It's very simple legislation, and this is, to my mind, a very simple proposition. Here's the proposition, that when it comes to COVID relief in the midst of this crisis, working families and working people should be first to get relief, not last. Their interests, their needs should be first on our to-do list, not last. Now, I've heard some of my colleagues say that there just isn't enough left for working families, that once we take care of our other priorities and COVID relief, there just isn't enough left to give direct assistance to individuals. I want to respectfully suggest that those priorities are exactly reversed. We should begin with the working people of this country. And that's why the legislation that Senator Sanders and I are introducing, which I believe every senator voted for in March, it's simple legislation, $1,200 for each individual, $2,400 for a couple and $500 for every dependent in the family. It's exactly what this Congress approved overwhelmingly back in March to support and help the people who are affected through no fault of their own. Let's be clear, the millions of Americans who are, who are out of work because of this pandemic, they haven't done anything wrong. The 853,000 Americans who today, the new numbers tell us, filed for unemployment benefits, they're not at fault in this pandemic. We want to support and stand with working individuals and working families. And when it comes to COVID relief, we will not leave this town until we have voted, up or down, until we have voted on direct relief for working people in my state, in Senator Sanders' state, and in every state in this union.